Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? You boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the inside shade ability in Madden. Uh, there were questions asked, and of course, it's one. It's something that I gotta, I gotta, I gotta provide for you guys. If you guys ask a question and I can make a video, I definitely want to do so. So, inside shade. I recently made a video on shutting down tight formations out of, you know, any defensive coverage pretty much if you guys have inside shades because those inside shades should I, I and i say that very loosely should clamp up any routes that are coming out of any tight formations now there are going to be a couple things that you guys are going to need to know when it comes to the inside shade ability um and there's and you guys kind of need to know what inside shade specifically is um i feel like i didn't do a good enough job at explaining it so we're just gonna come out in we're gonna come out in let's come out in cover one hole and then on the offensive side we're just gonna come out in mesh spot so i already took the liberty of taking marlon humphrey and putting him in the slot formation now the inside shade ability what it is it is better cuts better defensive cuts on any and on any route within the numbers so a lot of people are getting confused with inside shade because they think it's literally you shading inside that is not what inside shade is and now my camera's up there i actually don't want my camera up there i'm handsome though ain't i thank you um but inside shade is up the sidelines here anything that's within these numbers okay all the way up and down the field if it is within the numbers and yes we're bringing out the fucking squigglies anything that's within these numbers is going to end up being clamped up or it should again we say that very loosely because everything in madden is very very inconsistent but anything that is any cuts any wide receiver cuts that are in these numbers the cornerback is going to react to them faster than he would if he didn't have this ability now outside shade does the opposite it does it outside the numbers and people are confusing these abilities because they think that outside shade it means that corner routes are going to be completely clamped up and they think that inside shade means that like post routes are going to be clamped up now one thing that i can tell you even with inside shade as many times as i have ran it it is very inconsistent when it comes to post routes and i'll show that right now for some reason mike evans just completely now he he ran that completely terribly and he still caught it for some reason but for post routes it seems like that's where the inconsistency lies with this specific ability now right now it's actually clamping up but i think it's because a lot of those other routes are um kind of breaking you know kind of hitting each other at least so when it comes to this ability i don't like shading i don't like shading at all if i shade towards the outside i again i feel like those post routes end up wide open and that's not something that i want to deal with on a consistent basis so again that post route is open and we're able to sit there and we're going to be able to hit that non-stop especially if you throw that on a decent pattern now corner routes with this ability seem to be absolutely clamped up like absolutely clamped up and i know that that's one of the cornerstones of any tight formations are shutting down corner routes and i can tell you one thing is that's something that will help now before I dive into any shading or anything like that, there are two different receipt there there are two different kinds of receivers on the field currently. There are a receiver like Julio Jones where he's lined up towards the, he's on the outside of the interior receiver here, right? So what that means here, I'm not going to get into numbers of who's who, but Mike Evans here he's on the inside so these two guys here in any type of formations typically they cannot be pressed and when you can't be pressed they end up kind of being clamped up okay excuse me they end up getting a free release and you can't clamp them up most of the time in man coverage situations now with these outside guys here this guy and this guy you can press these guys and the inside shade ability will absolutely be a set it and forget it type of defense where you will not have to do a thing pretty much if you guys have inside shades on these guys except for guard 
literally the two inside the two interior receivers running backs don't have too too good of uh too good of running routes in this game yet so there's not there's not much that we have to worry about but these outside guys if you do have a an, an inside shade these guys end up getting completely 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 clamped up now the only problem is when they're on one side of a hash mark because once that happens they're kind of they can you can kind of end up being you know motioned out to kind of hike over where you can't hit them you can't use that inside shade ability that inside shade ability will end up being negated simply because you are running a play that is towards that outside now because i motion i motion hike him as soon as he hits a, outside those numbers now he can he can route you up because you're relying on an ability while that ability is not going to work while that guy is on the outside so again once they're on the inside and i'll and i'll actually showcase this real quick i'm going to go ahead and take this deep i'm going to take this deep blue out of the picture here i'm going to put him in something like that and now i'm going to take mike evans and i'm just going to put i'm, I'm going to put him on a simple streak and you see how he has a little bit of space there now marlon humphrey only knocked that out because he has a deep route ko i believe he, he has a he has a ko ability which means he will be able to knock passes out i believe it's past 20 yards so if he didn't have that that's an ag catch nine times out of ten pretty much and mike evans is going to come down with that more often times than not on most of the cornerbacks that are in this game especially on regs but this, that's not what we're here for we're here for the inside shade ability now the inside shade ability obviously is going to work better if they are pressed if you are not pressed you do not want to shade underneath unless you have some over the top coverage now if you have some over the top coverage shading underneath is going to clamp up a lot of the route so let's let's test out a post route here he would have knocked that out Again, post routes seem to be one of the most consistent routes against man coverage. So we're going to go ahead and press again just to showcase the post. Because you can't press him, he's running the route very, very terribly. As you can see, post routes are one of the most annoying routes in the game. How, do, how can we shut this down a little bit easier without completely shutting down our entire offense? Well, shading. That is how we're going to shut that down. Even with this ability, as you can see, because he's not being pressed, that route ends up being, being squeezed open without that person actually running a solid route. It's just, He just ends up getting open so shading is going to be the difference maker in this specific in this specific scenario now you guys want to shade your individual your coverage completely now when it comes to this corner routes seem to be clamped up from this inside shade but those post routes slant routes drag routes especially if you can't if you can't bump them if you can't press them what are you going to do to make them you know a little bit more uncomfortable now we're going to shade our entire defense towards the outside and to shade our defense towards the outside you're going to press triangle and then you're going to move the right stick towards the right it's going to shade towards the outside so in some formations the cornerbacks will actually give a tell where they'll they'll kind of move towards that right side like they'll they'll literally shift in their alignment where the receiver is in this formation that they're not doing that so that's perfectly fine but if we're shading towards that outside that post route's going to be even worse so how do we how do we work on that we bring up the individual coverage assignments and to do that you press triangle again you press x and then whoever it is that your guy that, that you want to shade a different way uh in this situation it's going to be mike evans so we're going to press triangle or y if you guys are on on the xbox and then now the coverage if you look at the bottom right you can either back off which is going to not press him you can press that's not going to press him he's still going to get a free release here but you can shade him towards the right or the left side since we shaded our entire defense towards the outside for this we're going to shade him towards the right side because you know we want to we, we want to slow down that post route we want to slow down those slant routes and once you do that oh we just shaded towards that same side and that was just a fluky play 
uh we just shaded towards that same side and that corner route was clamped up now granted i couldn't click on because i'm using the other controller but as you can see he does get a free release here but he runs the route for him still so he's absolutely clamped up now let's do the same thing same exact setup but this time we're gonna shade towards the outside again and we're gonna shade we're gonna put his coverage we're gonna we're, we're gonna shade his coverage towards that right side because we're trying to guard a post route so we're gonna make sure that these routes don't bump or get in the way so we're gonna put these guys in deep blues here and as you can see he's literally he's literally running the route for him so you can shade the entirety of the defense and then individually shade that person you know towards the weaker side of that of that person's you know like post routes seem to just work a lot better in these type formations don't know why especially when they can't get bumped but this is gonna be a bigger help to anybody that is struggling with shutting down this formation because we just showcased the corner route and as you can see the corner route was absolutely that the corner route was bagged and now we sh we shade towards the inside we individually shade towards the inside excuse me and now the post route that we were having issues with earlier completely clamped up now of course it is an it is an inconsistent game it is madden 23 um it's as inconsistent as it comes and i'm perfectly fine with that it's very annoying but what do you, what, what are you gonna do but let's do that one more time we're gonna shade outside and then we're gonna individually shade towards the right side and we're gonna run that we're gonna run that post route one more time oh he ended up getting bumped and the pressure came in absolutely screaming holy holy moly let's do that one more time but this time we're just going to make sure that there is no pressure we're going to make sure that harrison isn't blocking anybody and now we're going to shade our defense towards the outside boom individually shade the slot towards the right i don't know why he's there and now we're gonna put mike evans on a post and as you can see he's already leaning towards that towards that same side bad animation remember inconsistencies it's madden 22 and they happen very very often but again if we do the same exact type of coverage even if we don't press we don't need to press we don't need to shade back we don't need to do anything but even if we do that We're shading towards the inside and now we're putting him on a corner route you're still you're still gonna have that route clamped up now i was able to click on swap and call it a day that that route is completely bagged up so this video essentially was pretty much to answer the question if you shade you know over the top or shade outside you can completely change up your coverages as well you just have to know how to individually adjust your coverage especially if you are in man coverage these inside shades are a dangerous dangerous ability now if you guys want to and you guys are running something like this specifically you can individually press everything like you can individually press those outside receivers to kind of get your coverage the way that you want it to so say you're trying to set up like a nice little blitz here uh this is to me when you're not fully pressed down and you're not shaded all the way back up, I think that creates some of the best coverages, especially in man coverage in the game. Now, clamp up pretty much anybody else. As you can see, he's, he's completely bagging the route up. But inconsistencies and ags in Madden 23 are absolutely crazy. Hopefully, this answered any questions you guys have about the inside shade ability. We went over shading. We went over post routes, corner routes, which are two pretty much very, very good routes to beat anybody who is, you know, running man coverage. Um, 
but yeah that's pretty much it there's not much else to go over with when, when it comes to the inside shade ability the outside shade ability is the same thing just the opposite way um and a lot of the times you guys got to make sure that you guys are playing the sidelines as well so like if you guys are running corner routes and there's a lot of space towards that right side and i know i'm kind of prolonging this a little bit there's no specific reason i'm just you know trying to be as thorough as possible but so when you guys are playing the sidelines if someone is on the left hash mark they have a lot less space to run these routes they have a lot less space if they're running it on this side look look at how much space that tight end has to run a corner route a lot more space than that left side so again you just got to pick your poison when it comes to running these abilities and you know kind of work around whatever your weaknesses are and those these abilities are put in, that's why these abilities are put in the game is to work around whatever weaknesses you have and in madden the inside shade ability will definitely help shut down pretty much any tight formation in the game simply because the outside guys get, can get pressed while that inside guy whatever route he's on can end up being absolutely bagged up hopefully this video was helpful enough to get you to put some inside shade abilities on your players and if you guys are confused about any ability in the game please leave it down in the comment section below and i will try my best to make a video on it especially if i know the ins and outs of it i currently well i don't currently but i will be using an inside shade um inside shade edge threats you know get a lot of pressure and yeah we move but that's it for the video. My name is Pony Montana, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man. If you guys are new, subscribe. If you like the video, like. And as always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.